hello there. I was just reading a report. Not everything a detective does is interesting, you know. Well, we have to check facts, follow clues, and sometimes they don't lead anywhere. What I like most about my job is working with people. You learn to watch their faces, notice the look in their eyes. But the most important thing is what people say. Well, to be a good detective, you really have to be a good listener. The case came to my desk two days ago. I call it lights out. I have the feeling that the key to this case is not what people were doing, but what they said they were doing when the lights went out. Closing time. Closing time. This way out, please. Closing time, sir. you our alarm system. Come over here, please. Does your system work on electricity? Yes, it does. It's really very simple. We have a light for each gallery. Let us say a thief tries to steal something from gallery two. The alarm rings and this little light flashes on and off. And then you know which gallery to search? Yes, yes, that's right. All right, Dr. Tadmore. Let's go over the facts again. Uh, at 5.30 this afternoon, the guards were closing the museum. Uh, let me see now. One guard was closing the galleries for the night. Another guard was guiding the visitors to the exit. 
and a third guard were standing at the exit. Yes, and at a quarter to six, all the lights went out, and it was dark for a minute and a half. So, for exactly a minute and a half, the electricity wasn't working. That means the alarm wasn't working. Yes, yes, that's right. Well, did you check the fuses, the electrical wiring? Yes, of course. And that's what we don't understand. The electrician checked everything. There's nothing wrong with the electricity. Oh, well, there must be some reason why the electricity went off. Yes, you're right. And there is nothing wrong with the alarm system either. Because when the electricity came on again, the alarm was ringing and this little light for Gallery 5 was flashing on and off. Well, what did you do then, Dr. Dadmore? We searched Gallery 5, of course. But everything was in order. Nothing was missing. Well, we don't know that yet, Dr. Tadmore. You didn't have time to search the gallery carefully. Yes. Yes, that's true, of course. Did anyone leave the museum during the time the lights were out? No, no, no. That's quite impossible. The guard was guarding the exit, and he certainly didn't let anyone leave. I made sure of that fact myself. Well, that's all for now, Dr. Tadmore. Let's go upstairs. Certainly. If you like to follow me. Inspector Neer, I ask these three people to stay for additional questioning. Uh, thank you. Well, thank you for waiting. My name is Neer. Inspector Near. Miss Burke? Mr. Turner? Yes, I'm Turner. Uh, Mr. Badurian? I'd like to ask you all some questions. Let's begin with you, Miss Burke. Alice Burke, single, an apartment on Mapu. Is that right, Miss Burke? Yes, it is. What, what time did you come to the museum this afternoon, Miss Burke? I think I came at about 4.30. Uh, what were you doing between 4.30 and closing time? I was drawing one of the exhibits, a strange little statue. <laughs> I'm an art student and frequently come to the museum to draw. Hmm. I see. So this drawing pad is yours? Yes. Dr. Tadmore, what was she drawing? What is this statue? That's our Astarte in Gallery 5, Inspector. Gallery 5? Hmm. How big is the statue? It's a small statue and very, very valuable. Hmm. Miss Burke. Were you sitting in Gallery 5 and drawing the statue all afternoon? Yes, Inspector Neer. Well, until closing time. Uh, are you sure of that, Miss Burke? Yes. Why, Miss Burke. At a quarter to five, you were talking on the telephone. Was I? Oh, I forgot. Oh, you forgot. Sergeant uh, Yona, read the guard statement. At a quarter to five, I was walking near Gallery 5. A woman was walking towards the phone booth. She was carrying a large handbag and a drawing pad. I was watching as she was making a phone call. She was acting strangely. It was Miss Burke. Uh, who were you phoning, Miss Burke? A friend. I was just phoning a friend. A friend? Well, who is this friend? Oh, really, Inspector Near? Does it matter? All right. What's your friend's phone number? I don't remember. 
I got the wrong number. Miss Burke, what's the number of your friend? I told you, I don't remember. I want that phone number, Miss Burke. Oh, very well. It's 21964. Sergeant Yona, check that number now, please. Well, that's all for the moment, Miss Burke. Mr. Bedurian, I would like... Uh, what time did you come to the museum this afternoon? I came to the museum at about five o'clock, Inspector Nairn. Oh. What were you doing between five o'clock and closing time, Mr. Bedurian? Oh, I was just walking round looking at some exhibits of old Roman coins. They're very unusual. Oh. Are you an archaeologist? Not really, Inspector Nairn. I have a shop in East Jerusalem. I sell antique jewellery, ancient statues and coins. Hmm. Mr. Madurian, at 5.30, the guards were closing the museum. Uh, what were you doing then? At 5.30? Yes, at 5.30. It was just a short time ago, Mr. Madurian. Surely you can remember what you were doing? Oh, yes, I was in Gallery 5. I was sitting on a bench looking at the Astarte. A magnificent little statue. Were you alone? No. It was closing time. People were leaving the gallery. I saw this gentleman and uh, this lady, Miss Burke. Um, what happened just before the lights went out? Were you alone then? Yes, I was. Only for a moment. A guard came in. He told me it was closing time. I was walking towards the exit, then suddenly the lights went out. Are you sure of that, Mr. Bedorian? Quite, quite sure. Ah, oh, that's strange. Listen to the statement of the guard. Uh, yes, it says right here, when the lights went out, you were still in Gallery 5. No, Inspector, the guard is wrong. I was not in Gallery 5. When the lights went out, I was walking towards the exit. I see. So the guard is wrong. Well, that's possible, of course, Mr. Bedorian, but think again. Ah, Sergeant Yona, who's uh, Miss Burke's friend? The phone number is in the name of Blake. Alan Blake. Well, Miss Burke, your friend's name is Blake. I don't know anyone by the name of Blake. Blake. Alan Blake. Well, you already have his phone number. And, Yona, check the galleries again. What shall I look for? I don't know. But there's some reason why the electricity went off. See what you can find. Yes. Mr. George Turner, tourist. Uh, you came to Israel with a group. Is that right, Mr. Turner? Yes, that's right, Inspector. I see. And when did you come to the museum this afternoon, Mr. Turner? Oh, sometime after lunch. After lunch? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Let me read the statement of the guard at the door. Now, this afternoon at a quarter past five, I was standing at the museum door. A man was running up the steps. He was just running past me when I stopped him. I told him that it was almost closing time, but he bought a ticket anyway. Was that you, Mr. Turner? Yes, that was me. So you didn't arrive after lunch. You arrived at a quarter past five. Why did you come to the museum 15 minutes before closing time? <laughs> well, why not? Inspector, I like museums. Mr. Turner, at a quarter to six, the lights went out. What were you doing then? Walking around. 
Inspector, what do people usually do in uh, museums? Mr. Turner, I didn't ask you that. I don't want to know what people usually do in museums. I want to know what you were doing when the lights went out. I was looking at an exhibit of old glass bottles. Inspector Lear, that exhibit is in Gallery 7. Hmm. Okay. So, you were standing in Gallery 7 at a quarter to six. Yes. Uh, what did you do then? I stayed in Gallery 7 until the lights came on again. There we are. Don't move. Dr. Tadmore, can we have some light, please? Yes. Yes, of course. We'll have some lights in a moment. Inspector Lear, you were right. Look at this. Why, that's jeweler's wire. Where did you find the wire, Yona? It was in an electric outlet. I touched it, and all the lights went out. Oh, they went out for a second time today. Well, Dr. Tadmore, now we know the reason the electricity went off at a quarter to six. Someone put this little piece of wire into an electric outlet. But who did it? Ah, oh, that's the question. Does anyone know anything about this little piece of wire? Mr. Medorian, this is jeweler's wire. Surely you use it in your work, don't you? Yes. Well, uh, sometimes. I see. All right. Well, thank you all very much. It's getting late, so I'm going to send you home. I want to tell you one thing. Your stories don't check with a guard's statements. Good night. Sergeant Yona, show these people out. Inspector, may I have my passport? No, I'm sorry, Turner, but not yet. Yona, I'll meet you at the office. Well, Dr. Turnmore, can we have a look at Gallery 5 and the Astarte now? Definitely. Uh, can you open the case? Yes. But I'll have to switch off the alarm first. Oh, all right. Uh, let's just... Here it is. This is the Astarte. Can I hold it in my hand, please? Why, what's the matter, Dr. Tadmore? This isn't the Astarte Inspector near, it's... A plaster copy? Yes, it's a plaster copy. How did you know? You aren't surprised. No, I'm not. Too many unusual things were happening at the museum this afternoon. The electricity went off. Ah, yes, that little piece of jeweler's wire. Yes, you're right, Dr. Tadmore. That was a very clever idea. As long as the electricity wasn't working, the alarm didn't ring. Yes, I understand. But I'm afraid that the thief is at the airport by now without a starty. No, I don't think so. The statue is probably still right here in the museum. Let's check the facts again. How long was the electricity off? A minute and a half. Well, that's all you'll need. To open a case... Take out a statue, put in a copy, lock the case, and leave the gallery. 
but it isn't long enough to get out of the museum with a statue. Yes, yes, I see. And no one left the museum. The guard was standing at the exit all that time. Hmm. And there's another fact. Sergeant Jonas searched everyone, even you, Dr. Tadmore. But nobody had the statue. Yes, of course, Inspector. It's clear the Astarte is still right here in the museum. But where? Well, now you know the facts. We don't know what was really happening at a quarter to six. What was Miss Burke doing? She said that she was sitting in Gallery 5 and drawing the Astarte until closing time, but the guard said that Miss Burke was making a telephone call at a quarter to five. Well, why was she lying about that telephone call? And who is Alan Blake? Then there's Mr. Bedorian. He said that when the lights went out at a quarter to six, he wasn't in Gallery 5. But the guard said that Mr. Bedorian was. Well, they can't both be right. And what do you think about Mr. Turner? He told us that he came to the museum after lunch. But the guard said that he saw Mr. Turner running up the museum steps... Fifteen minutes before closing time. Well, what was really happening at the museum? What do you think? <laughs>